YouTube, what is up? So it's been a little while. I haven't done uh, too many tech reviews. I think I have done did one on a drone. But I decided to pick up this Osmo action camera. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. There's a few things that I will go over that I don't like about it. But I think as a whole, it is going to be a pretty good camera. It's weird. I trust DJI more than I trust GoPro. I've just had, as much as GoPros have been amazing, they've had a lot of little little finicky things that have bugged the crap out of me. And there's nothing worse than going and getting an amazing shot and then getting back and realizing that your camera didn't get it or it has crappy sound or is all washed out and it's just been a bummer. So I'm stoked to try this thing out. Uh, let's do a quick unboxing of this guy and see what's in the box. Um, DJI, I've always kind of felt like they've made pretty good products. I like the price of the of the action cam. Uh, came in at three hundred fifty bucks, which is interesting considering I think these guys have a twenty five percent tariff. So there must be a ton of markup in an action cam. Remember that time that GoPro put it out a camera that was five hundred dollars? Yeah. Um, all right, box, nice clean box. Uh, we got our little action cam here. Uh, it's funny how similar to a GoPro that it is. Um, you have your little case. Which I'm not sure how to open. Let's see. Just like that. Oh yeah, nice. Their stuff always feels so solid. DJI stuff always feels so um, high quality. Well, there you go, out of the case. So obviously one of the big things on the camera is the front screen. So I don't know how big of a deal that is to me, um, but I think it is definitely cool. It does set this, this camera apart from other cameras and it would be nice, you know, when you're setting up. That's something I definitely did love about the GoPro is setting, setting it up and having that screen there, the first one to kind of do that little screen. Um, it's so easy to set up. So it's gonna be really nice um, to have the two screens to get to get to make sure you're getting the shots that you want. Um, nice solid fill and weight to it. I like it. Nice little protective case. Yeah, feels good. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm excited to get this thing out. We'll take it out on the side-by-side um, -side and get some legit action shots and see how it does. Uh, let's take a look. So I think they were smart, like other some other reviewers said, to stay with like the GoPro um, design just because there's so many accessories and things that you can just already use. So it's a very GoPro-ish mounts, but they clip in a little different. But man, they feel extremely well made i don't know what it is but dji just their stuff feels very high quality and looks like we got our battery um this is a bigger battery than a gopro which is nice and gopro batteries i hope it's a better quality battery i've always had trouble with gopro batteries they have been really susceptible to getting hot or getting cold and like just not lasting and just uh i've had so many like i said i like the gopros but i've had so many problems um and just ruining that shot just sucks so looks like a good solid battery and it is a little bit bigger let's take a look at our cables here even that feels like a nicer more solid piece and then you just have your charge cable Okay, so this has optical, um, or sorry, electronic image stabilization. Uh, they call it rock steady. It's gonna be pretty sweet. It's supposed to be a little bit better than the GoPros. Um, so I'm excited to check it out. I think that's definitely one of the major things on the cam that uh, sets it apart. Okay, um, yeah, so optical image stabilization. We've got the two screens 
You've got eight times slow motion and 1080p, which I think will be fun to check out. You've got a removable, um, well, I think it's removable. Anyways, I don't, Ugh, it is on there. Anyways, removable ND filters, so there's gonna be a full set of different filters that you can get for the cam. Um, what else, what else? Yeah, I think that's most of the good stuff. We need to see, um, I've got a really big memory card to see if it'll power up with a larger memory card. That's another problem I had with the, with the early GoPro that I had is that, oh, there you go, boom. Um, you could, I could only fit so, so big of a memory card on it. So it would cause, I don't know, it sucked. You don't want to run out of battery and you don't want to run out of memory. So I've got a Samsung 256 uh, memory card we'll throw in there. And see how she does. Maybe. There we go. All right, clip that in. Well, we need to activate. All right, let's activate this and I'll come right back. But hopefully it's going to take that 256 memory card, which will be sweet. This thing will shoot in 4K um, at like 100 megabytes per second, which is crazy. Uh, what else? So, yeah, we'll double check that. One thing I wanted to say. So, all in all, I think it's going to be a great camera. It looks solid. Uh, has a solid look and feel to it. The two screens are amazing. I um, already really like it. I think you can double tap like that and it'll switch. Yeah. So really cool. Really, really cool. I'm ex I'm stoked on it. It's got a, it just feels, it feels very high quality. Um, some of the negatives I'll just go over real quick and we'll get this out on my side by side and get some actual awesome, awesome shots in it, which I'm really excited about. All the reviews that I have seen, on the Osmo action, like there's nobody that's doing like, let's, let's get some real action guys. Um, so one of the super negatives is that there is no dedicated 3.5 millimeter jack. And to me, that is a big deal. I, wh why do they do this? I don't know. I don't want to buy an adapter. I don't want to have another thing to go wrong. I want a 3.5 millimeter jack, you know, GoPro, the last GoPro I used was the Hero 4 Silver. I'm sure the new ones are better, but they did the same thing. They did a stupid adapter on the side and it would sit there and wiggle and ruin all your audio and ruin your whole your whole shot. And just a bummer. So I'm not super stoked on that. You know, we're gonna have to, people are gonna have to try to find a way to make, I have problems with the wind noise with the way I record and you've got a mic here on the side and one on the top and you're gonna have to figure out a way to to help that wind noise and use the factory audio. Because the other thing that this port does is it's your power. So when they try to use an adapter, um, then, then you don't have a power supply. So I like to do extremely long videos and get a ton of footage. And so I want external power for my camera. So it's cool that it has it. The problem is if I plug in power, then I can't plug in a mic. Um, and then you have to buy their special adapter um, to Oh, yeah, it looks like this it comes off too. You have to buy their special adapter and you're only going to get, you know, one of the two. So that's a total bummer to me too. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but 162 minutes. This card already had a bunch of stuff on it, but that's a 256 gigabyte Samsung card and it took it no problem. So that was a big problem with this. It could, it, I think the highest card I could get to work in it was like a 64 gig card. I don't even know if I could get that. And it would have corruption errors and all these stupid things and honestly drive me crazy. And just having reliability, I think is super important. So 
I'm really excited to just see how, how good the battery lasts, how the mics do, um, how this guy does on like some real, some, uh, I'll have some good tests for her. But uh, anyways, as far as look and feel and quality, it looks amazing. I love the two screens. I can tell you that already. It's just going to be so nice to set it up. Um, I'm glad it can take a big memory card. Uh, super important. My, yeah, my only caveat is the one port. I wish camera guys, come on, let's give us a real 3.5 millimeter jack and a dedicated power, you know, because these little batteries, they're susceptible to cold and heat and other things. And you just want to have a constant power so you can get those longer shots. So Anyways, it looks like an awesome setup. It's cool how easy these, uh, how easy you can change the filter. Um, I love the two screens. It's going to be cool, except I will say you're definitely going to have to make some kind of protective covers. If you break this uh, camera lens cover, it's like 15 bucks. But if you break that, it's like a new camera. So definitely going to need to protect that screen. You know, this is your, you know, where I'm like, using it for a racing video or something, you know, this could get a rock on it. So I'm going to have to have some kind of a case, which I'm sure people will make that will just kind of maybe block off that screen for certain things um, for sure. But all in all, looks good. Let's check out, uh, let's actually go get some good shots and check out how the video and audio looks. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I haven't been able to, I can't find an adapter for it, but I hopefully will soon. I think you have to buy the DJI adapter. DJI adapter. I don't know if they've released it yet, um, but looks awesome. So yeah, let's go get some some legit action shots and see how this thing does. It's gonna be pretty cool. Where is it written that all our dreams must be small ones? Okay, here's a couple of shots comparing the Osmo action against the Sony FDR X3000. Um, I think both cameras do amazing. The biggest problem I have with the DJI is just not having a microphone adapter, so I couldn't get that good sound off the stock mics. They're okay, but for this application, I get too much wind noise and fuzziness. Um, but yeah, here you go guys. So here's some side-by-side -side and some stuff that's single and then you saw that slow motion uh, 1080p slow motion at uh, 240 frames, which is pretty cool Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please like and subscribe if you want the links to the cameras I'll have the links to the Sony and the DJI you decide which one's best. I love them both um, All right. Thanks guys. See ya